Bree, can you turn on back that light for me? I think it will be better. <laughs> this lighting though, it's not popping. Mm -mm. Okay. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Hi. Hi, Tracy Ann. Welcome. So I'm about to do my unboxing for my wigs. Okay. They've been sitting in my the corner of my house for a little bit. So can you tell me I've been waiting? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for waiting. I, I've got a giant box here. Ah! I'm so happy about it. So I'm going to just kind of jump right into it. Okay. Cause see what ha happened was this box. I ordered these wigs expecting them. What was I going to say? Expecting them to be, I didn't want to take my hair out and then have like nothing to wear on my head. And I didn't want to pop on like an old wig, but the wigs showed up before the, my braids even got out of my head and it's just been sitting in the corner. And I also wanted to do this unboxing live for you guys. So let's just do the dang thing. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh yeah. The, so because I'm in Canada, guys, when I order, I ordered these wigs from Black Hairspray, right? I ordered them, I guess, Black Friday night. You're so excited. I'm excited too because I haven't seen them yet. I only saw them online the one time. I ordered them on Black Friday night. So they're like all 50% off. That's why I ordered five. And yeah, the deal was amazing. However, because I live in Canada, you have to take into account that, that there might be COD charges. Y'all, guess how much I got charged at the door? Honestly, the night before I was having nightmares. <laughs> it wasn't really nightmares, but I kept thinking, I wonder how much they're going to charge me. I had to pay like $57 at the door. Mm -hmm. That's how they get you. But you know what? I did the math. And it all worked out nonetheless because to buy these wigs at a re the regular price, it would still cost me a lot more here. And I got them half off American pricing. So it still worked itself out where the wigs I got were a lot cheaper. Oh, okay. Okay. Y'all want to see what's in the box? <laughs> okay. Okay. <sighs> okay. So... Uh, Let's see how this goes. Oh, shoot. So you guys want me to show it to you first. Oh, my gosh. Where can I put this box? It's just... Okay. So this is one of the first ones I got. What's this one called? Tasia. This one's called Tasia. I hope I look as fly as this model here because she is definitely selling this wig. And we're going to try it together, okay? So where is my ghetto wig cap? I just had two seconds ago. <laughs> nice color. I like the color, right? I think um, for my complexion, I always think Honey Blonde does a good job. Okay, you can't even see it well. In the This lighting is starting to fail me, but we're going to work fast. Here's my ghetto wig cap. I refer to it as ghetto because every wig cap I have, I always cut it myself. I find them to be too tight on my head. And I don't even think I have a big head, so I don't know what's up with that. But I don't want to cut off my circulation. I would like my brain to work still. Let's get this cap on. Okay. Mind you, I'm also doing this facing outside. So like my whole neighborhood, if anyone's passing by right now, they can see me. So this is not inconspicuous at all. <laughs> They'll be like, what is that black girl doing? I'm revealing all the secrets to the world right now. So, it's nicely sealed like this. This is funny. These are these wigs that I ordered are synthetic, okay? So, they're not human hair. I do have a human hair wig that um, has lost, that's lasted me a long time. But I do prefer synthetics only because they come styled already. They're easy to deal with and I don't have to constantly worry about my hair it's one of those things you take care of it and you just put it on and go and I don't have to worry about flat ironing it or you know having to do anything so this says it's what six inch deep hand tied lace parting okay so that's what the parting looks like how much does this wig cost let's see 
I've got all the details here for you. Um, this one was $25. And that's 25 American. So here in Canada, honestly, when I go to buy most of my wigs, a wig like this is usually costing me like $80 at the black hair store. Mind you, it also cost me gas to drive there and get it. So yeah, this was on sale. Oh, you're seeing my ring under there. I was like, what the heck's that white thing? It's my ring. So it's not bad, pretty cheap, and it feels nice and soft. Look at that. Hey. Oh my gosh. I hope this color works out because it's kind of scaring me just looking at it, but you know. So let's go ahead and try this. I'm actually using, oh, it's got baby hair. It's got baby hair. It's got little wispies. Oh my gosh. Okay. Wow, I'm impressed, okay. How do I do this without looking like a hot mess? Okay, I'm using my phone to do this, guys. Oh my gosh, my neighbor's right there. My neighbor is right there. <laughs> Let's see. I can't believe I'm doing this live. You know, generally you wanna... Oh my gosh, is she gonna see me? Hey, Robin, hey. <laughs> she saw me <laughs> oh my gosh okay hot mess hold on is that my hair sticking out right here yes it is okay I love live <laughs> it's so much fun <laughs> okay so you know I'm not fixing it to the best of my ability because I don't have a, a what do you call it a mirror that I'm working with I think or I thought I sent one of my kids for a mirror, but you know, they they didn't hear me or something. I'm trying to get at these baby hairs. They're there. They really are there. Thank you. Okay, I'll have to work on that another time. But you can see the baby hair. So that's the baby hairs here. That's not even my hair. The baby hair feels a little thicker, which is good, because you can see I will be able to brush it down. Ooh. <laughs> okay. I'm feeling myself just a little bit. Okay. I'm still trying to figure out the color. And I'm sorry the lighting changes every time I move, but y'all know how lighting can do a girl wrong sometimes. So, Hi guys, welcome to my life. <laughs> Let's have a cup of uh, tea. <laughs> okay, how do you guys like it? I like that it's got this, um, you know, what do you call it? What's, what's this called again? Um, what's it called when it's dark here and it fades? Oh my gosh, my brain's failing me. I just had a baby, y'all. Okay, don't come for me. It's, uh, I don't remember, it's not ball I, I can't I can't <laughs> we'll come back to that yes ombre thank you <laughs> the dark roots ombre yes okay so I'm not gonna lie it looks so natural thank you well your girl likes natural so I did buy the same one in black rot hair oh my gosh I, I'm hating this lighting <laughs> Okay, so I bought it in black, and we're going to do a quick switcheroo. I'm not, the, the cap is actually decent. It doesn't, um, what do you call it? It's not too tight. Fits my head. That was one of the details that I read about. It said that it fit all types of, I don't know, so the person said they had a bigger head and it fit their head, so that sold it for me, because I hate a tight wig. No one wants to walk around with their wig squeezing their brain cells. So I'm going to try on the black one. Oh my gosh, I'm going to have so much packaging to clean up after. Look what y'all made me do. I'm joking. <laughs> In black and small curls, huh? Now you're going to have to get... Is this small curls? Because honestly, I don't know if I look good with like... You know how some women wear like the tiny curls? I don't ever look good in like really small curls. I don't know why. So this goes with this. It's important that I keep these things together. Is that the right? Yeah. 1B. 
So that color is in 1B30, just in case. I mean, it's not that hard to find, figure it out after. But that color is 1B30, and this is obviously black. Now, why am I sweating? I'm hot already. But this is um 1B. Usually, I... Yeah, one is it one or one B? I do like this alive. Okay, okay. Ah, thank you. We Gucci. Aaron interrupted that session and he called it while it was on my phone. So you guys can see my hair is not also braided to perfection, you know, but it will do. Ooh, okay. So this is the black one. It's really dark. <sighs> I feel like I should change positions here so that lighting's not in the background and making me look all washed out. Let's see. Ooh. I don't know. The lighting is starting to make me look really washed out here. Can you guys see me? This is the black one. Oh, you love the black. I love the black. The black is more the black is more my it's more me. I do like <laughs> I like to have a little fun sometimes, you know, with the color, but the black is banging. So, yeah, I definitely like the black. Let me show you how long it is, by the way. Swat hair. Yeah. And this one, I don't know, for some reason, this one went on so much easier and it already just looks natural putting it on as opposed to trying to blend it in. Thank you. And they, it's so soft, guys. It is so soft and it doesn't like, obviously it's synthetic, so synthetic hair will tangle. Something that you can't get away from, but my experience with them is that I, I mean, I usually take care of them. The thing with me is I wear my hair I go out on the street or whatever and I come home and I generally take them off. So I guess for me, they last longer maybe than some people. Like I don't wear them out like that. And I've never really run into any big problems with them. That's why I do continue to go back to synthetic. So I absolutely love this. Like look at the curls. And I don't have to waste time with a curling iron to get this, which is amazing. So yeah, you guys like leave a comment down below and let me know what you think. I just love the I love the way it falls. I've never been a big fan of um you what do you call it? Center part only because I've got a big forehead, which I'm very aware of, but I'm okay with it, y'all. You prefer this one? Yeah, I do too. And I can picture myself wearing it with a nice hat or, you know. So, yeah. Let's see the next one. The next one, <laughs> the next one is a bit out of my comfort zone. I did go and get this, um, what do you call it? This one looks like this. So, you know, this is more for fancy. It's more like a Christmas wig. It's for a special holiday and it is in the color T1B. So it's like a dark teal and I'm excited about it. So we're going to try this one on. Now that, you know, y'all have seen this one, the black is, the black is, uh, nice. I like it a lot. Ooh. Let me also show you the inside of this, guys. It's got two clips that you can put right here. One, two. <laughs> Ignore my kid if you can hear her in the background. And it's got a pin at the back as well. But I'll do a formal review. I'll do a, probably a formal review of these wigs at some point, like on my on our actual hair channel. So if you're not subscribed, you should check it out over there on the Zebra Tribe. It's called Zebra Tribe Hair. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited about this one. Because <laughs> it's a little out of my comfort zone, and I pray I like it. Like I said, that one costed 25 and this costed 12 So if it doesn't look good, it's not a big loss. I think also I might want to wear a certain makeup. Maybe this lipstick isn't going to go with this look, but, you know, don't judge. Who's judging, right? I've got to take off the paper. Comment down below. Let me know if you guys are big in, uh, if you're into wigs. I definitely love them, especially having my natural hair. It's my go-to in winter. I don't want to deal with natural hair in the winter. I really don't. Ooh, child. Mm -mm. 
I'm a little scared. I'm a little scared. Just a little bit. Okay. This color. Ooh, okay. I think I can dig it. I think I can dig it. Because, I mean, there's a thing called a brush too, right? We can also brush out the curls a little bit. Okay. <laughs> it's a little different. But I can picture me wearing... It's like, deck the halls with lots of holly. La, 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 la. You like it? I think I like it. I've got no eyelashes to bat. <laughs> yes, I have been wearing wigs for nine years now, and I love being able to change my hairstyles when I want to. Exactly. You feel me, girl. You understand. So this is teal, and it's very different, but I like it. I think it's really cute. It's bouncy. There's volume to it. But I like the fact that it it's not poofy. It went, you know, it's more, it falls more. Yes. Yeah, I can deal with the curls. I can picture it with a different lipstick. Sorry if I'm not looking at you guys, but I'm trying to look at myself. I could picture it with a different lipstick and, um, you know, maybe something. Well, we'll see. We'll figure it out. I'll definitely wear these looks and you guys can see what it looks like. My neighbor passed by. She probably thinks I'm a totally different woman <laughs> because she passed by with me wearing that first wig and now she sees this one. Let me turn around so y'all can see the back. Jing. Jing. <laughs> what? What'd you say? Yes, I love the length. I love short. I do like the look of longer hair, but I do enjoy the short hair because it's easy to work with. I love the curls. Yes, girl, I love these curls too. I love it. It's not a lot. It doesn't look like it's a lot of maintenance and I'm and that's the big thing for me. I've been wearing wigs for quite a while. It's usually wigs or braids for me because like I said, they both kind of gave me the opportunity to wear my hair without having to just put so much stress on my natural hair all the time. But I like the wig more better just because I can actually access my hair easier. I usually, my hair is always breathing. I wear them out, come back home, plop, off they go, and I can treat my hair and wash my hair and do more things. Not to mention, you know, the styles, the different styles. So comment, let me know what the rest of y'all think about this color. Because in the summer, mermaid, what would you call it? The whole balayage or mermaid color thing was popping and I really wanted to try it. I even came close to wanting to dye my real hair, my natural hair, and I'm glad I didn't. So glad I didn't. You, This is, I, I like this too because it's long enough to catch up. Like you can catch it up and do something cute with it, do a little updo, you know. Yeah. And what else is there? And the other one is the same. Let's see. I ordered two of the same. You love the color? Yeah. So I ordered five weeks total. I'm gonna, two, two was this color. Even though I never tried this color before, I fell in love with it and I just automatically knew I was gonna like it. So I figured if I wore it in the winter, I can wear it you know, come summer, I can have, because I think it's going to look different in sunlight. It's so like when you wear the purple, purple braids, they look different when, you know, they're in light because summer is so bright and vibrant. Outside is just sucking all my energy right now. It's so dull. That's all, all I'm seeing is dull, dullness. It's like gray. So it's not showing the hair in the best light, but I think it's going to be cute. So I bought two of these two of those ones and then I also bought a 1B in this one as well so you can see that I do prefer short hair especially having the baby now I do I do enjoy just wearing things that are easy manageable and things that aren't just you know not gonna weigh me down and just yeah every now and again I envision the whole Aaliyah hairstyle like just a nice long long weave but 
not for long. Every time I think of it, I'm just like, okay, hmm, that was short-lived. Let's get back to reality, honey. This model sold it to me, by the way. She's so cute. Look at her little doll face. Okay, time to take off my hat. Close your eyes. Are your eyes closed yet? Okay. Ah! <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. No, 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 no. We can't be doing this. Okay. I don't know if I'm... Well, I guess I'll show, try on the black one for you guys as well. And I got to make sure I collect all these little things because my baby cannot find these. If she finds these, honey, mm -mm, they will be in her mouth and I can't afford that. Those things are poisonous. How do you store your... How do I store them? You want to know the truth? I just store them in the plastic bag. Not the box. The boxes are just too junky, so I store them. I just lay them like this back in the plastic bag and, well, just have them in like a box. I have a box in my storage room in the basement, which I just went through when I cleaned out the basement and tossed a bunch of them. I really like this because the wig cap is so big. It's so easy to put on, but it's not too big to the point where you feel like the wig's going to blow right off your head. Hi, neighbor. Bye. <laughs> That's another neighbor. I'm pretty sure they just saw me. Ooh. Ah. Okay, I kind of wish I ordered two in this color instead of the teal because I think I prefer this one. Or maybe it's just corresponding with my lipstick. Yeah. So, and see, the thing is, this is the, this is the issue here. With certain wigs, hold on. Oh, it's got baby hair, so I guess the baby hair is supposed to... With this one, I almost, I almost feel like I will have to do the whole um, concealer. I just feel like I see a little too much cap for my liking. <laughs> like, I don't want all the tall people to be looking down at my head going, what is that on her head, you know? I can't have that. So, thank you. Thank you very much. Darling, I think I like this one. Twelve dollars, <laughs> twelve dollars on blackhairspray.com. Yeah, I've been telling hubby that I wanted to go to the black hair store, and y'all, I'm trying to make the best of the situation right now because we had to get rid of his vehicle, and so we're still down to one vehicle. We're gonna be getting the other one. We know when. It's just it's coming, but we just decided to just you know, lay low for a moment and just wing it for the couple of months with one vehicle. So because of that situation, I can't even just run to the hair store like I'd, I'd want to. I have to kind of plan around hubby and get the vehicle when he comes. And by the time he gets home, like the, the, the hair store is closed. So, you know, your sister is at home looking all jacked and raggedy. I'm joking. <laughs> no, I had my braids and I was Gucci. I was good. But, you know, I it was time to take him out and I was telling him, I want to get my hair done and we were going to drive to the hair store but something prompted me and said go online honey and I did and I'm here you know $150 later it, to be honest so that's the thing like I said I ordered five wigs and honestly all five of them came up to $150 but that is Canadian that's it being converted to Canadian money so I think it was like 100 and 10 or something initially, like American, which is amazing. You can get five wigs that can do you good for probably like a solid year. If you're like me and you take care of your stuff, you could, these five wigs could last you all year long and your whole, your whole, um, I don't know, your whole hair budget could be like $110. It, and that, that's, not, that's not even a joke. But, um, because like I said, I live in Canada, the conversion was a little bit different. So I had to pay $150. And then when it showed up at the door, I still had to pay another $57. So in total, it was like 200 for all of these wigs. But I know what I'm saving. Thank you. You love the color? I know what I'm saving because I go to the hair store and I know how much these wigs are. So if I were to purchase one like this there, which I have, I put purchased like shorter ones like this. And it's usually, it runs me like $60, the minimum, if I want like a good quality, soft, 
you know, wig like this, $60. So let's do the math. 60 times three, because I bought three of these ones, that's $180. And the other two are 25 each. And if I were to buy them here, I would probably spend at least $80 on them. Because keep in mind, when they get carried over here, they're doing the whole conversion, you know, currency conversion, and they're also bumping up the price so they can make a buck. So those two alone would be 160. Here, that wig would be 20.99. Like that's awesome. Yeah, that's great. I know. That's my whole. That's that's my whole point. It's so crazy. Like 20.99 versus like 60 dollars. Insane. So that's why whenever I do make the you know the purchase from the states and I'm buying, I usually just buy like a you know order like a bunch of them all at once because it doesn't make sense for me to just buy it one and two because by the the currency conversion makes no sense. And I buy wigs from Rose Wholesale. No, I haven't tried that one. Where is that? My last, my last, um, while I'm talking to you, I'm going to just put on the other black one real quick. <laughs> the last wig that I bought, no, well, not the last one, actually. I bought a bunch since, but my natural human, that wig would, that wig looks good too. Thank you. The last human hair wig that I bought, I bought it from AliExpress. I bought a wig at the hair store for $100. What a ripoff. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's true. I bought a wig from AliExpress, a natural human hair one, and it's amazing. I've had it for about two years. I wear it. I go back and forth because it does require maintenance. It's human hair, so you got to, you know, constantly wash it. You wear it out a couple of days, and you got to make sure you wash it because it's human hair. And then you got to flat iron it, and then you got to, combat frizz and the whole nine yard and with these kind of hair you seldom have to do that and it's not until it, it's get, it gets worn out quite a bit first that you have to start actually putting products on them which is what I like as well oh this is the same color I'm not going to take this one out so the last one that I had was obviously teal so why did I take that off my head now I'm sitting here looking all ghetto but yeah that's um that's what I've encountered with the wigs. So I, this is why I do prefer, what was I saying? No, oh, I was saying that I ordered them from AliExpress and the seller was actually pretty decent. I don't know if I could still find them in my link, but that's where I ordered like a last wig wholesale. I, I, can, I think that's wholesale. Other places that I try to, I try to buy human hair wigs from, like they're so expensive. And by the time they get here, it's, like I said, I'm going to have to pay a ton more for the the exchange, and I don't necessarily want to do that. So I'm looking forward to crossing the border at some point. This is when I do. I think, I don't know which one's my favorite. When I do, then I'll end up picking up some wigs from over there and can secure myself. That's how I shop for, for my hair. I generally just, it's like a one-shop type thing. I look for it all at once. I get it and then I'm good. I'm set for like honestly like a year and maybe sometimes I go back maybe in the middle of the year to just pick up a wig or two here but for the most part like my wig budget and my it's not even like a real budget per se because I could go at any time but I yeah I just I just don't spend a ton on on my hair and if I do like you know I want it to be something decent. So that's what it is. Let me give you guys a quick view of the circumference of this hair. So let's see, what can we do with this wig? Could we fix it up and do something nice? Does this look festive? Could put like a little hairpin here. Get like a Christmas look going on. Let's see. Oh. Okay, that's not, I don't like that. But I could definitely see the one side. And what does the cap look like under here? Okay, so that's what those caps look like. I think you can see the difference, obviously, when the cap's a little bit cheaper. But I like it. It's not itchy. It's not hard. It fits my head. It's nice and comfy. It's got a band. It's got the perimeter flap thing, which makes it feel comfortable. And, yeah. Whoa. 
so that is it. Go to rosewholesale.com. I'm going to have to check it out. I'm going to have to check it out. Right now, our currency exchange is whack. <laughs> our money is not worth, like, we used to come over. I was explaining in the last vlog, if you saw today's vlog, I, you know, we usually travel to the U.S. for Black Friday to come shopping, but we haven't in a while just because of the, the exchange rate. It's not, it's not good. And, you know, it costs us money to drive there and all that. So in the end, in the long run, we just kind of just do with what we have. I'm going to have to check out that place, though. Do you Have you ever ordered from AliExpress? Or um, where do you generally go shopping for your wigs? You guys let me know the details. And also, do you guys ever go... Um, do, are you guys, like, big fans of he, the whole human hair wig? Some of them, they run, like, thousands of dollars. Some of the basic ones, sometimes I see, I think, my girl Raven Elise and... Who else? I don't know. I see a bunch of women showcase like the natural human hair wigs, and by the and I go and check them out, and they're like four or five hundred dollars just for one unit. And like I said, I'm ordering from Canada, so I can't be doing that. I got kitties to feed. <laughs> just bought two during the eleven eleven. Oh, I missed that. That's where I meant. That's where I meant to go originally. And somehow I went on to black hairspray and this is the outcome. I feel like I did my brows so dark today because they just look, I didn't conceal them. If you're wondering why they look so harsh, I did not conceal them to make them look, you know, I keep seeing it. <laughs> it's, it's bothering me. But that's where I meant to go. I meant to go on, to, on AliExpress, but I didn't. And I ended up on black hairspray. But I, I want to get another human hair wig. The next one that I get is going to be longer. That way I can switch it up because the one I have is like this length. So I'm, it's straight, but I'm capable of doing this. I can throw it in a bunch of curls and it looks really cute. And it's it's got the center part. This is very rare for me. My wigs usually consist of a, I usually go with a side part. That way, you know, I've got a bang and that's, I think it suits me better. But I'm getting used to wearing stuff like this. I think it's cute. Let me try and back this one. I'm going to probably let you guys go in a minute here. So which one? You guys comment down below and let me know what's your favorite. They might sit differently on my head too when I, you know, right now I just have my hair in two, in four giant braids. <laughs> oh, okay. Researching takes a lot of researching for, yes, that's exactly it. It takes so much researching for AliExpress. That's hard. You love them all? Nuh-uh, you can't do me like that. Tell me which one you like. I'm joking. I still think my favorite is the black one. That's probably just the mommy and me just being all safe and stuff. Ah! Yes, okay. My hat. Okay, you know when people have this kind of hair, they're usually, they pout and put on the fish lips so their face can be like elongated. Let's try that. <laughs> I feel like my face can't do that. <coughs> I'm choking on hair. Is it is it working? I don't think it's working. So do you guys like this one? I think it will look nice when I do my brows differently. Let me know what y'all think. I actually thought that exact one was my favorite. You still think it is. <laughs> it'd, be, it'd be different for you, but you love. Thank you. Looking like I look like a model. <laughs> You're sweet. Thank you. The brown is a bit feisty. It is. I think hubby's going to love this one, too. It'll definitely look better with another lipstick as well. But I love the length. I love that I can, you know. It's kind of weird though. When you when you wear certain colors like this, you can't 
you have to, especially, yeah, I feel like you gotta have a different lipstick because, or lipsticks that suit the color because it just throws it all off. Right now I'm, I'm kind of like, mm, <laughs> I like it. I'm feeling the curls. I'm feeling the look, but I guess my brows and my lips be throwing the whole look off and, you know, but overall this wig feels really good, guys. Look, you're not seeing anything. I know this. And it's, it's full, like it's a full cap. So there's no, not feeling big gaps or anything. The wigs, the hair just feels like it's coming from your scalp and it doesn't. And right now it's a little bit higher because like I said, my braids are, my braids are sticking out because my hair is just braided and um, not evenly and flat to my head. But overall it looks fantastic and you can catch it up. You can catch it up and you can do this. You know, do a little side, little side do or something for Christmas. Hmm. I like to do stuff like this. But anywho, I think that's it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed my little haul. If you guys want to know the details about the rest, about these hair, I will probably link them. I'll try to link them down below, but I'll probably feature them individually on like my on the hair channel. We'll see if I do that, maybe a style or two. But thank you guys for tuning in. I appreciate all of you guys. Let me know if you want to see more videos like this featuring more hair stuff. I don't know. And um, yeah, so I really appreciate you guys all coming in. It was it was actually really fun. I enjoy I'm enjoying doing live more because you guys get, can get to see a little bit more of my personality. <laughs> hey, Melanie. <laughs> Girl, you are coming when I'm leaving. <laughs> oh, no problem. I really enjoyed doing this video. And I have a bunch of other wigs too, like some other wigs that I have downstairs. <laughs> Maybe I can do a fun video with that, like going through and finding some wigs and I'm like, mm -mm, why did I hold on to these ones? I'm... <sighs> I'm a hot mess. I, I have a bunch that I don't want to necessarily get rid of. For, they're like my emergency you're too late. Oh, thank you. You'll get to see the rest there in the video, so check it out. But yeah, I have some emergency wigs downstairs, and maybe I can show y'all another time. But thank you guys for tuning in. We got to go. Oh, thank you. I'll show you guys with my new makeup look and whatnot, because my makeup is, is not beat right now. So much love, guys. Bye.